What is going on guys? Hope you are all doing very well. So today we finally have another entry to the Retro Bowl series. So let us get started as quickly as possible. So we'll load up the first game here. We are going to be playing in week four as Kansas City versus Miami. And we'll just get started. So let's just do out the score. Sometimes it's just a little bit easier that way so we can get the ball back and have maximum clock to work with. So guys, like last time, I'll be giving you a couple of tips along the way. But it has been some time since I played. And as you can see, just no rust at all. <laughs> Is that going to be a touchdown? Oh. Oh, so close. Okay. Not no one open. Oh, just out of bounds. Oh, what? Uh, let's do a QB sneak. Okay, this is a little bit of an interesting choice. So Miami missed the field goal for the extra point. I think we'll go two-point conversion. Back in the end zone. Yes, let's go. They have such a weak defense, so it's really the offensive show. So something like this, just a quick pass to either of your wide receivers on the edge should do it. Just get a good chunk on first down. So something like this is definitely uh, to keep an eye out for. Just when your wide receiver has enough room to really get ahead of steam going downfield. Oh, I thought I missed him. Especially when your receiver is fast like this, you can create a lot of separation. Okay, so into the first quarter. If you guys watched any of my other retro little videos, you know my love of just the pass out of the backfield to your running back. Still overpowered, even in these updates. Okay, let's just do a little slant. Touchdown. Oh, we're going two point again. <laughs> My finger slipped on that one. Okay. Still have a little bit of a lead to work with. Uh, let's just run. It's always a good idea to either slide or go out of bounds with your quarterback. You just don't want them getting hit. All right, let's keep an eye on the clock. We're approaching halftime. seconds to work with. Oh, yes. Just getting around the edge and scoring. Oh, yes. Okay, we get the ball back. Third quarter. And if they just keep giving me those downfield shots like that, I'm going to take it. All right. And as you play this game more often, you'll just get a little bit more accustomed to the patterns that your players run and just the tendencies, whether they'll be open or not. Oh, 
that's intercepted, didn't put enough on it. Okay, not a great start to the third quarter. But we're still in it. Oh, not if I keep playing like this, though. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. Alright, who's going to be open for me downfield? So as you play this game more, you'll become a little bit more familiar with how much you have to put on the ball to really throw some deep passes. good so sometimes it's easier going for the two-point conversion okay not off to a great start okay here we go and now it's the fourth quarter just keeping a little bit of a closer eye on the time left do a couple of things. Obviously score, but not leave enough time left on the clock for Miami to potentially go for a field goal. So we just dive down. And not a great job running, but okay. We're going for it. Third down. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Clutch. 33. Oh, man. Oh. Please let me make this. Let's go. Okay. First game back. It's a win, baby. Let's do it. Praise the team for that clutch performance. Uh, wide receiver. Let's go stamina. Look at that speed. Pittsburgh is offering you defensive back Neil Gazzano as a trade. In return, they want a round three pick. All right, let's see how good he is. For a round three pick, yeah, we'll sign him. We'll take the trade. And my running back is injured, which is not good. Okay. Just on paper versus Jacksonville, I think we got this. field and obviously you want to look at the play first oh. <laughs> okay not off to a good start it's only uphill from here all right converting to the first down nice oh that's that's oh, oh. don't want to be fumbling those turn numbers will kill you. Alright, slide. Perfect. Oh, get past him. Oh, let's go. 
that's going to all the way. Yes, touchdown. Let's go two point conversion. I just don't trust myself with this kicker. Especially if they can so easily get past the defenders. Sometimes it's just those little plays that can go from a loss, like if I was to be sacked there, to even just a five-yard gain on first down. It really changes the complexion of the game. Oh, go, 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 go. Just as long as you can keep picking up first downs. And the time, really, unless you're starting to get down to the wire, it doesn't matter that much. Like, just keep an eye on it if you're going for long drives, like at the half or the end of the game. Oh, sure, I can make that, but not the one last game. This is what I'm talking about. 25 seconds left and we have a long way to go. Oh. <laughs> and even less time now. <laughs> Can we even get in field goal range? And I know I said this in another one of these videos, but that's how we got away with it. But if you can hit your def or not defenders, <laughs> if you can hit your receivers in stride and not make them jump for the ball, it saves so much time. Like um, the defenders who are after them aren't going to be able to chase them down as easily. Okay, so we're still up by field goal. And we can just really slow the game down now. And, okay. You know, not throwing the ball as deep. Taking a lot of time off the clock, letting the plays develop. And we're just about to take this into the last quarter of the game. Oh, we're gonna get it, yes. And just make smart decisions with the football, like well, like it's a real game. <laughs> Even the strategy of like the NFL still applies. Okay, let's change that. Not particularly liking this play either. And if you're gonna give me that much space, I'm just gonna run with the quarterback. like that and just get to the outside right away can be very dangerous. Okay, I think that should really seal the game. Oh, like that. That's what I'm talking about, just right in stride. And you see that Defender has a last minute burst of speed, but it's just not enough. Pulled out such a lead at the beginning. Alright, two point conversion. And we'll just throw it away. Yeah. 
And just like that, there we go. Which position does Jesper Milano play? I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> it has been a while since I played with this team, I forget. And we'll go stamina. And my running back is recovered now. So while we're here, let's also make some upgrades. Go to the front office. We really need some improvements in our rehab and training facilities. We'll just toss one in our stadium too. Help us with a little bit more of our fan morale. And let me go to the front office again. Let's see what staff hires we have. Well, <laughs> I see a big old zero there. Doesn't really matter, but eventually I'd like to upgrade my defensive coach. Maybe make our defense go from awful to just terrible. Let's see, we'll browse our roster. One of our wide receivers is injured. And as you can see, we have a quarterback who's 39 years old, but still playing well. So I don't know how much playing time we're gonna get out of him. He'll probably retire at the end of the season. Maybe do a little bit of that Brett Favre Oh, I'm retiring, I'm not retiring thing. But we're running back. This is what we're missing last game. You can see that speed. All in all, I, I mean obviously I really overload my teams on offense just because um when you're playing a game like this, the salary cap is a little bit small compared to what you can get it up to, so I just like the team to specialize in one thing. So this guy, like you can see, speed and speed for my wide receivers, I really like that. And then otherwise, it just really gets uh, sacrificed on defense. So do I have anyone in the Hall of Fame? Player-wise? Oh, no, I don't. And it's cool, like, it keeps track of all your player records, your retro ball performances, and your achievements. So let's see, what haven't I done? Complete ten full seasons. Well, on this uh, phone I haven't, but on my other one I did cut a player, win 10 retro world titles, build a 5-star defense, I don't know if I'm ever going to do that, hire 5-star offensive recruiter, 5-star defense recruiter, rush for 150 yards in a game, I might be able to do that, and a couple of other miscellaneous ones. So guys, I think that's going to do it for this video, but I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know if I should make more regular updates to the Retro Bowl series. I know a lot of you guys like tapping sounds, and it is kind of fun to just play a game for a video, let's be honest. But guys, I will see you in another video very soon.